Hey everyone. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about conditionals in Ruby. So conditionals uh, control the flow of your program. So if you wanted to check uh, whether something's true and then follow a series of steps, you would do so using conditionals. So um, and the basic if statement in Ruby is declared like so. So if condition, and then you have to have an end statement. So in, in some languages, you have brackets. So you have something like if condition and then bracket or curly bracket, and then in some languages like Python, it focuses on indentation. So in Ruby, you specify the keyword end and it knows where to end the statements. So here you can have some code. So you can print, for example, uh, ordered a small. And so let's just say you're ordering some sort of, um, you're ordering a coffee and you have coffee equals small. So if cough equals small, we get order to small. Uh, we can, let's have something a little more. So we can have name equals Daniel. So if coffee equals small, name plus. So we have Daniel order to small. And now if we want to have another statement, uh, in some languages you have an else if statement, and in some you have, uh, so in JavaScript, for example, you have else if, and in Python you have elif. So it might get a little confusing with all these terms, but in Ruby, it's else if. So no E, just L-E-L-S if. And then here you have your um, secondary condition. So else if cough equals medium. You can have name plus ordered a medium. And now we run it and you get Daniel ordered a small. We change it to medium and we get Daniel ordered a medium. And then your final condition is the uh, condition that runs if none of the above are true, and that's else. So you have, you could say, uh, name plus ordered, ordered uh, a large. So in this case, you could actually, so we'll write name, this is what we'll do, name did not order small or medium. So if you run it, you get Daniel order medium, and now if you put large, you get Daniel did not order a smaller medium, and if you put anything else, some random letters, you also get did not order smaller medium. So first it runs this condition, then this, and then finally the else statement. So these are the basic conditionals that you will most likely use in your Ruby programs. Now the one interesting thing though is that Ruby in Ruby everything is an expression. So uh, a function, for example, in some languages is just a statement. You could have something like function uh, do something and then you call this function later on and here you have some code. So this is how uh, this is kind of how you would declare a function in some languages. In Ruby on the other hand there is no state there are no statements. Everything is an expression which means that everything returns a value. So in this case if coffee let's get rid of these and we can say if coffee equals if coffee equals small then return this sentence. So you can actually, instead of returning it or instead of printing it, you can assign it to a um, you can assign it to a variable. So you you think you would do something like this, like uh, variable equals this, and then you have a variable and you set it equal to nil. So if it's small, you set variable equal to this, and then you can print variable, and we get Daniel ordered a small. So variable now holds the sentence Daniel ordered a small, but you can also do it like this. Because everything is an expression, this whole statement, this whole conditional is an expression and it returns a value. So it actually returns this sentence. So you can do something like this. You could set the variable equal to the whole conditional. And then you could print variable and you get the same result, Daniel ordered a small. Uh, so the reason that variable equals this is because this part of the um, conditional is true. But let's just say it wasn't true. So if you order a medium, so now variable is equal to name plus order to small only if coffee equals small. So what happens if we run this code now? Because coffee isn't small, variable will be set to nil. So everything is an expression in Ruby, and if you don't assign something to um, a variable, it gets the, va um, the value of nil. So now you can do something like value equals nil, and you get true. Uh, so these are the basic conditionals in Ruby. Uh, in the next video, we'll be covering functions and uh, loops in Ruby.